Hello and welcome, I'm Josh with US Cutter and in today's video we're going to be showing you some sublimation temperatures and press times. I've created an updated sublimation temperature guide to go along with this video that you can download and follow along and also keep handy. If you're considering getting into sublimation or just starting out, be sure to check out our before you buy videos that I did for the Sawgrass printers. Part 1 covers everything you would want to know about the printer's ink and then even shows you the setup and installation, while Part 2 shows you the finer details of how the software works. I also plan to update and re-release the Part 2 video whenever Sawgrass releases the next big update, when we also have some content over the horizon that goes into the finer details of sublimation toner, so make sure you subscribe to the channel to receive all of that future content. So let's go ahead and take a look at that sheet. Underneath our fancy new logo, we've got a few links that you can click that'll take you to our selection of blanks and other stuff, followed by a very important disclaimer that I'll quickly read to you. The following chart should be used only as a starting place. Producing quality end products is a matter of suitable substrates, a calibrated heat press, smart color management, following manufacturer guidelines, testing, and practicing. So that's some very good information. It is so valuable that I also put an asterisk next to the press time and temperature columns to hammer this point home even more. You should always look for additional or specific directions from the manufacturer when pressing a new substrate. On this guide you will notice that each item has a range of suggested temperatures and times. So again, always check to see if there's additional instructions that come with your blanks. The more instructions you have, I can guarantee the less time and products you'll end up wasting having to figure it out. Underneath that, I made sure to put a link to our YouTube channel and this video. So let's get to the chart. We've got a few categories here going across the top, starting with substrate, followed by press time, then temperature, pressure, and then some tips and tricks. You might be wondering why I have a range listed for the press time, and then also some of the temperatures. This is because some substrates and some inks require a different temperature. For example, if you're using sublimation toner, the suggested starting temperature is at 380 degrees Fahrenheit for all types of materials unless specified otherwise by a manufacturer. Some users using ink also prefer to use lower temperatures but with higher press times to ensure that there's no chance of the design to get yellow like you see here when I burnt this early draft of the sheet onto this mug. The very first item that we have listed here is the ceramic mugs. The press time range is anywhere from 150 seconds to 210 seconds. The temperature is anywhere from 370 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The pressure is going to be medium around 40 psi. And some tips and tricks are start the countdown timer when the mug and mug press are up to temperature. What I mean is when you put a mug inside of it and start it up, it's going to cool the mug press down a lot like you see here. So wait until it gets up in one of these ranges. I usually wait till it gets around like 370, uh, like you see here, and then I start my countdown timer. So that is what I mean by that. And then obviously remove the transfer once the mug is cooled down. Next we have the metal substrate. And now when we're talking about metal, we're talking about flat surfaces. We're also talking about, you know, round surfaces like mugs or a cup and all colors, white, silver, stainless steel, and bronze. So this is going to be much quicker because metal conducts heat much better than ceramic does. So 60 to 80 seconds, 375 degrees to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, around 40 PSI medium temperature. Heat resistant tape around the edge of the transfer is really helpful. And then use a nonstick sheet when possible. That way you don't have it directly making contact with your platen. So up next, we've got the ceramic and glass tiles. And this is going to be a little bit different. And you notice we've got a big time difference here. Temperature is going to be like everything else, you know, 380 degrees to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 40 PSI medium. But with these, you want to be very careful. You want to press them from the back, you know, transfer side face down, like into the silicon pad. So that means you really want to have your silicon pad preheated and then be very careful when you're pressing it down. Uh, using too much pressure could cause the tile to break. Now, back to that first tip, you know, press the towel face down into the transfer. You don't have to do that because personally, I don't. You just really want to be careful in pressing it because it could break and, you know, too much heat could cause it to yellow. So be careful when you're doing that. Next, you have your polyester fabric. And then we also put the mouse pads here because, you know, they're kind of covered in polyester fabric. 
Now the recommended time for these is 45 seconds and as you can see it has the standard sublimation temperature range of 380 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 degrees Fahrenheit with the normal medium pressure so nothing special there. But with this you want to look for a tighter knit and higher white point for better colors. And what they mean by that is, you know, a tighter knit means you don't have uh, any like loose threads coming up because if you have a tighter knit and less loose threads, you're going to get a sharper image. That's the key to getting a sharper image on a shirt. You're not going to get as sharp as you would like say on a ceramic or metal surface. So that's why you're not going to see as many options in the Sawgrass Print Manager for just polyester fabrics. But again, please check out that before you buy video part two. Now up next is an item that I personally wanted to put on there because I received a lot of questions about how to do this one and that's the square sequin pillowcase. We're going to press it for about 45 to 55 seconds anywhere from 380 degrees Fahrenheit to 400 degrees Fahrenheit with medium pressure and you want to use a pressing pillow and a non-stick sheet to get the best results here. The cloth side can also be used for sublimation so make sure you do the design on that too. Now I'm going to skip the soft link t-shirts and the vapor apparel because they're just like doing normal polyester fabrics. We just left them on here because they're very popular on the search results. But uh, I'm gonna go to the Unisub products and these are gonna be like your metallic blanks and stuff. You just wanna peel off the plastic coating if there's one present and then you know peel the transfer away as soon as possible. Uh, it's just a very distinct product that we did carry at one time and I wanted to make sure that we left that on here. Then finally, I wanted to talk about the FR plastics or flame retardant plastics. Now what these are are plastics that have a higher melting point that won't melt when you heat press them around like 380 degrees to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Basically these plastics are sublimatable because we're going to be applying a lot of heat to them. These have a lot of different instructions. Even the square sequin pillowcase uses a type of plastic like this. So that's going to be pretty much the basics for these. As you can see this list will cover your sublimation toner as well as your sublimation ink but it's still just a starting guide. So make sure that you look into the manufacturer specifications for whatever blank that you're using. Well, this seems like a good time to wrap this up. As always, if you have any questions about any of the products that we offer here, feel free to contact our sales team at sales at uscutter.com. And every single item that we offer here comes with lifetime customer support for free. So if you need to contact a support agent, you can reach them at support at uscutter.com. Have yourself a wonderful day. And if you have some time, make sure you check out some of the other videos we've done. Maybe you don't feel like weeding or maybe check out the heat press video that we made. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.